Uh, yes. And? I don't like talking about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I even when I don't want to, you know, Smack Drills, the coaches played that, um, played the video of us losing in the fourth quarter um, and playing, uh, them celebrating on the field and stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of motivation. How, did, um, how does Coach Venables this spring kind of keep you guys grounded? Because you got nine starters coming back and everybody's talking about how great you guys are on defense. How does he try to keep you grounded all spring? Uh, I mean, he's just put the facts out there. You know, we don't play well, we'll get exposed. So he, so he really just told us that. But he didn't really have to do that. Uh, the offense has done that. You know, we haven't dominated them every day this 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 um, spring. Um, Desmond David, they've dominated us in the valley in scrimmages. So, and we've paid the price for that. We've ran a lot of uh, sprints for that. Uh, so, uh, the offense has done a great job. And Coach V's done a great job of holding us accountable. We're not sliding stuff on this road because that's just not who he is. You know, that's who, that's what we do here. You know, we. We take we take hold of, of our responsibilities and every mistake that we make. So I, I would imagine that kind of gets you then motivated for this summer to make sure you come out in August and you're you're not going to be running those sprints after practice. <laughs> I pray that we don't. Trust me. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. We're going to try to have a perfect fall camp, no runs at all. Um, but yeah, man, we're going to start from scratch this summer. We're going to go back to work. That's just what we do. Uh, uh, not going to. We're gonna take this, take this spring, evaluate, have our meetings with our coaches, see what we need to get better at, and uh, hopefully just put our head down and hopefully you have a great transformation for us. Watch, you just watch it from the sideline. You've watched the guy all spring, mm -hmm. but to see Trevor Lawrence dropping dimes like that as a freshman and, and releasing the ball when he does, um, you know, your thoughts as a defensive guy, just watching him do his thing out there. I mean, it's, it's, it was really impressive, especially I was on the orange team. So, I mean, it was really good to you know, see him go out there and have success. And also have a guy like T. Higgins have, have success with him. So, I mean, that was really, really nice to see because people think that it was just easy for when Trevor came in. You know, he had a lot of struggles. He had some struggles, you know, some days where he didn't have really good practices. Had some days where he threw some picks. But uh, it was really good to see him go out there and perform well on the big stage. So, I was really, I was really impressed. But I knew that he, he was a guy that, this was his personality. He's not the type of guy to get uh, – uh, too excited, too, too. The moment is going to be too big for him, and he's not a guy that's going to hold on to any mistakes that he has. He has a very short memory. So, what are you drinking there? Smoothie King. <laughs> Was that the? <laughs> Go ahead. I know it's a spring game, but what's that say about the? I guess lack of a drop line. Um, I know the orange team. We got all of our sacks. The white team. I don't know. Coach Sweeney was trying to keep them in the game. I'll just say that. Um, that one, Trevor threw that long pass, but they called a sack. That was not a sack. <laughs> I'll play. But, uh, I mean, yeah, man, it was just great to see those guys go out there and have success. You know, uh, we haven't gotten to the quarterbacks as much as we wanted to this spring. I mean, I mean, Coach, Coach Elliott's been hitting us with a lot of different things. You know, a lot of things that we feel like we're going to see this year or things that we've seen in the past kind of just keep the rush down. But it was good to go out there and see guys cut it loose, you know. So, I was – I was really, you know, excited and happy, you know what I mean? Because guys I had their rush plans ready, uh, went out there and weren't afraid to, to do stuff. So it was really nice to see. Specifically, the young guys, J.J. Henry, yeah. Jamie Thomas, coming out a couple of yeah. seasons. So Jeffrey's got it now. Mm -hmm. You know what it's been, so what did you see out there with these, these new guys that just evolved a few months ago? Uh, Justin, Justin had a really, really good day, I would say, man. He had, he showed some really good rushes. Xavier did as well. So did KJ. So, I mean, that was just really um, a testament to the work that they put in. You know, it was – it's been a it's been a really really uh, grind for them when they came in because college is a lot different from where they're coming from. They posted still in high school, you know what I mean. So it's been a really really tough process for them. But to see them go out there and set on the big stage, I was I mean as a as a big brother to them, that was that was really really nice for me to see. You look like you were having a blast out there. How much is this last season for you? About having fun with these guys for the last night? Uh, I mean, it was it was really fun. You know, we have a lot of seniors on this team, and I'm a redshirt junior, but we have a lot of seniors. So, so for me, you know, it's a lot. Of, it's a it's the last time I'll be playing this spring here with a lot of these guys. You know what I mean? So I just had to go into this mindset of whenever I get a chance to play in the valley with in front of the big crowd with the game day uniform on. You know, it's just not to take it for granted, regardless of the fact you need to have a, an impact or a, impact or some type of some type of force on the game, regardless if I'm making a lot of plays or not. You know, I need to be out there having fun, enthusiasm, regardless. So it's just that aspect. You know, this is the, one of the last times I get to play in here. You, know, you only get so many chances, so I was like, trying to have fun. Do you uh, sometimes kind of? 
take a look at the, the talent on the defensive front from end to end and, and kind of, I don't know, shake your head and go, what accumulation of, of talent for a college football team on the defensive front? Oh, um, I try not to. You know, can't really, can't really do that too much because uh, that can cause you to get the word complacent. So you really just got to put your – you really just got to focus on your weaknesses and just put your head down and go to work. You know, nobody in this game is going to give you anything. Nobody going to hold up just because you're real talented. That's going to get people, especially in the ACC, that's going to get people even bigger edge to come out here and try to dominate it. So uh, that just makes me want to go, go to work even more and for me to hold guys and guys to hold me accountable for you know, not 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 um, buying into the hype. So. As you, as you head into the off season and into the summer, what what's your mindset? What do you want to improve on? What are your goals? I want to get I want to get stronger. Um, want to have a stronger um, center of gravity. Just want to focus on just winning the point of attack. I would say more. You know what I mean? That's something that I feel like I've done well, but I haven't really dominated that aspect. And I want to just bring a whole other aspect of just developing my pass rush game a lot more. You know as well, just incorporating more moves. Um, having a, a rush plan for the different teams that we play, and definitely matriculating that, that down to the to the younger guys. So that's the biggest thing for me, definitely.